woman. And the rest of the nations just like, eh. Yeah. That's what it says yeah, there. Yeah. They are nothing, right? And we'll just finish this off. Yeah, yeah. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathens have ever which have ever been reputed as being nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Hence salvation. So that you should no more be devoured. That's what salvation was all about. Here it is, you had it to where the Israelites were the chosen people, as the scripture just said a second ago. Right? The Heavenly Father said that what? The nations were nothing. Now these nothing people became to be lords over the Israelites. So salvation was going to be what? The flipping back of yeah, things yeah. right yeah, side yeah, up. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh, which was to say, <laughs> if, you're, if you're an Israelite, which I don't know, uh, okay? Probably not. Okay, if you're an it does not, it's not, skin color is a bad determinant for nationality. That's not, I don't put, we don't, that's a great millstone. We don't put skin color nationality. That's anti, that's not biblical. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because the grandmother of King David was a, a Chinese woman. Yeah. Okay, yeah, she had yeah. a skin color back then. The Chinese people had skin color back then because before they intermingled with the Edomites. Or they might have not, who knows? Okay, I mean, I would have to ask my teachers what was the, what was the state of affairs back then. But the fa fact of the matter is, you had it to where many, uh, 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 well, the Israelites, the children of Israel, okay, which were Judah, Benjamin, Levi, on down, they had to take wives from somewhere. Yeah, true. Not all those, those wives weren't Israelites. Israel wasn't major. Yeah. They was making Israel, but Israel wasn't major. So their children came out looking like, well, oh, what's, whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Okay, so skin color is a bad determinant. Okay, but if that. your father's line goes back onto the man Israel, meaning to say, way down the line, you was a, your forefathers were people of color, then you're all right. Because that will make you an Israel. That's why you have a thing called surname. Surname is not just about the name you take from your forefather, it's about the inheritance that you take, right? And the principal inheritance on the earth to take is the earth. Hmm. Yeah, right? It is. Yeah. Is the earth. Yeah. And that heritage belongs unto the Israelites. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Right? Joint heirs with the, with the Heavenly Father's Son. Uh -huh. Okay, He the Prince with the power. The principal heritage on the earth is the earth. Okay, and the and the universe, the entirety of the universe. Okay, I'm not gonna go into that. That's a different topic. Yeah. Right. I'm not gonna go into that. The other inheritances within the earth, the inheritance of Moab, which they got their own particular land, or which after they serve hardcore slavery pursuant to the scriptures, they'll get back their own land, but they're still gonna be vassals. Not vassals. They're still gonna be underneath us. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? I, it, it, it does. It's it's quite a lot to. That's okay. Take in, That's but okay. I think but in, if you go in, home in and you pray your ears are like, yeah. well. In, in, it in still might not work if you know it's like in, 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 in future in my future research in this. I mean, right, okay. all, all I want to do is understand. Right, like, okay, it, it, it doesn't matter whether it, well, you, it's go, good, you got bad, you, whatever. You, I want to know what it is. All right, well, that's what so, it is. But if I you're mean, an Israelite, you're gonna be all right. If you ain't an Israelite, you're going into hardcore exactly. slavery. All right, and the scripture says it's gonna be a hardcore enslavement of the entirety of the earth for a thousand years. And you know why it's gonna be for a thousand years? Does that correspond with the? Uh, the slavery period of like, why is it going to be a thousand years? Oh, it does in a way. Oh, okay. How was America built, and how long did it take to build America? It, it took uh, 350 years to build yeah. America through slavery, free labor force. So it's going to take us, our kingdom, which is going to be the best kingdom that's ever existed on the earth, 1,000 years to build. 1,000 years of free manual labor, okay, from all the nations upon the earth. But you know what the Bible says about Esau, like right, the Edomites, the ones that rule the world right now. It says they're going to be done away with. After that, so that after a thousand years, these other nations, they're going to have a... It's going to be easier for them. There's actually going to be peace upon the earth. They're actually going to be harmed. They're going to recognize us as their kings. They're going to recognize us as their masters. But there's not going to be any contention. They've served a yeah, thousand yeah, years yeah. of slavery. The, the but they're great, still yeah. slaves underneath us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I want to kick them upside the foot, it's my like, I could do that. No problem. No, no retribution for that. It's my, my property. Yeah. We're gonna take care of them like how we take care of shoes. You might polish them sometimes, you might step in shit sometimes. That's how you take care of so, shoe, because the shoe is not on the same yeah, level as you. No, exactly. And we it's, read within the scriptures the Israelites are not in, on the same level as the rest of the people yeah, upon the yeah, earth. It's scriptural. But it's, for the Edomites, the Bible says that they're gonna be wiped away from the face of the earth after the thousand years of hardcore slavery. Because they are the uh, wicked. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. The Bible says they're gonna be wiped away. So I suppose that's you know that's that's a good <laughs> <laughs> true, very true. That's a good um, point to leave like, on. I just would, okay. Like, thank all right. you very no much. No problem, man. All right. It's, 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 okay. I've really enjoyed it. And all right. Like, carrying me forward for researching the scriptures, it's, it's going to help. I'm, okay. God bless. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm I'm just teaching the people at home. You take care. Oh, yeah, you take care. You take care of me. Bye. Right, so let's just, um, I'll touch on that topic a little bit. Let's see how much time I've got left, actually.
That's all right. We can touch on that topic of Esau being wiped off the face of the earth in the next 20 minutes, and then we can call it a day. I had my phone somewhere. Where did I put it? Why can I have that in my phone? All right, because the Edomites will be done away with. Okay, the Heavenly Father will do away with the Red Hebrew Edomites. Okay, that uh, uh, rule the world right now. And um, after the, a thousand years of hardcore captivity underneath the Israelites, um, yeah, so um, after the hardcore thousand years of uh, enslavement underneath the Israelites, the Edomites will be wiped off the face of the earth. Okay, so we can go into the book of we can go into the book of Job because I said I was going to go into the book of Job earlier. Okay, I'm going to the book of Job, read the book of Job, and then um, the book of Obadiah, and then maybe by then it'll be time to close out. So, uh, the book of Job, the 28th chapter, and um, we start from the third verse. It says, I've heard the check of, uh, sorry, uh, Job, uh, Job 20 and, and 3, no, 20 and 4. It says, Nor that no, thou not this from old since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short and a joy of a joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so they triumphed over uh, the Israelites going into hardcore slavery right and they rejoiced over that they built monuments to the Ark of Titus commemorating the taking down of uh, Judah right during uh, about 70 AD okay they, they enjoyed that man but guess what the triumphant of the wicked is short because you know they, they came back into power what you know uh, uh, the fourth round about the 1400s okay underneath the uh, Bourget family I forget the exact dates he came back into power, and he had the, the, the rebirth, the so-called re, so rebirth, or the Red Hebrew Edomites being in power. Okay, they was, they, 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 they had that, and they ever since they've been in a position of power. Okay, for about 350 years, so they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been balling. Okay, they had all the money, all the resources of the earth, control over vast quantities of land. Okay, whatever they want, they can take it through the advent of the, uh, 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 the advent the ICBM nuclear missiles man in fact when we go into the book of Habakkuk the second chapter and this is why Esau is going to be destroyed because here it is you had it to where empires existed before him but they after they, those empires had conquered the land they wanted to conquer there was a, a, a certain uh, uh, there was a period of uh, relative relative uh, peace man after the after the Babylonians has expanded and put all of the, the the people on the earth underneath their power okay and underneath their ruling 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 um, ruling structure right pretty much you know you had some kind of some kind of peace that, that they had you know they, they they didn't want more than that you know they they had they had what they wanted and they didn't expand beyond that but the bible says in fact i might get it on the phone the bible says that this man when he he can never be satisfied man okay he he can never be satisfied he he had it to where he took down the guideites okay the, the native american indians and he still wasn't satisfied he had to go take down somebody else of which he was all perfect but he had to go out down and take somebody, take down somebody else. Okay, he had to go out there and take down um, uh, the 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 the, uh, the Israelites that was out there within West, uh, within uh, West Af West Africa. Okay, and the other and really you had uh, you had um, uh, print, you had many Israelites that was out here that was out there within Europe. Okay, that was out here within Europe, man. In fact, the first slave ships that you had weren't coming from West Africa. The first slave ships that you had they was coming from uh, from Europe, man, from Spain. Okay. They was coming from Spain because you had it where you had a large multitude of Israelites that was out there within Spain. And they had, they was known as the Moors, but the Moors had took that power and that protection away from them because they, after they said the Byzantine Empire lasted a thousand years, right? Pursuant to the prophecy, the scripture says that that beast was going to be going to obscurity for a period of a thousand years. So when, when Jake was ruling for a period of a thousand years, okay, they still didn't choose to follow the Lord's touch commandments of the Heavenly Father. So the most like had it to where what? That beast came right back up again, pursuant to the prophecies, came right back up again, okay, took down the Moors and the, and the different Israelite encampments that you had all over the world and put them into hardcore captivity. But the point I was making is that what? Esau can never be satisfied. The book of Habakkuk, all right, um, and that's why this man's gonna be taken off the earth, man. Now the Moors will never set it up, even if even if the Moors wanted it to exist, they, he wouldn't put it within their spirit to, to uprise. But guess what? The Mosai created Esau to be our, 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 our to be our judgment. Now you go to where the Mosai is going to institute the, the covenant, okay? Which we with the, the, the second covenant is going to see to it where we're going to have the Lord's such commandments and the Heavenly Father impregnated within our mind. Guess what? 
You ain't gonna need the the, the, the whipping stick of the mob side, which is the even, which is the well, the principal enemy of the Israelites, which is Esau, because the Israelites is gonna be doing right forever and ever, man. The book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, in the first verse, it says, "I'll stand upon my watch. I'll set uh, set me upon the uh, tower and will watch to see what he shall say unto me. And what shall I answer when I am reproved?" And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it." For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak. So we're reading about the scriptures, and those scriptures are going to be what? Manifested in their appointed time. All right, you go to Twitter, there was a time for the uh, Babylonians to rule, and their time it collapsed, they were taken out of power. All right, the Assyrians, their time it collapsed, they were taken out of power. And so on and so forth, right up until the time of the Israelites, that were, that was, right up until the time of the Edomites, that were living up, up until this day. Okay, they was going to go into power for a period of time, and they was going to be taken out of that position of power. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3 it says For the vision is yet for an appointed time But at the end it shall speak and it shall not lie Though it tarry wait for it right? Because it shall because it shall surely come It will not tarry So you got it to where Esau has got his bounds okay? He's got the bounds that he cannot pass When the time comes for Esau to be taken out of power That's it He's going to get the wacko's apple by way of the heavenly father Now we know that the, food, food, uh, the book of 2nd Ezra is, What is it the 13th chapter We know that through, through, uh, through the scriptures the, the heavenly father's son, Yahawashai, was actually going to come and he's going to be the um, the spearhead of taking down Esau, the red Hebrew Edomites. Okay, he was going to be at the forefront of taking them down. Okay, because he's the, he's the first one. He's the first heir. Now, we're underneath him, but he's the first heir. He's going to get his first but before we get us. So, we ain't looking to start some military and come up against Esau. We're waiting for the heavenly father's uh, son to appear because he's going to be all the military that we, we need, man. You got guys out here uh, 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 underneath ISUPK thinking that we're going to come up here and take down Esau. Don't you know that this man's got the blessing of the sword, man? Okay, the Most High has actually protected this man in that the Most High set him up to rule right now. So he's protected. Okay, by way of deductive spiritual reasoning, we know that Esau is going to do his time. Okay, in power. But when the Heavenly Father's Son comes, that protection is going to be taken away. The scripture says that what? They was going to be afraid, but they was going to durst fight against the Heavenly Father's Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, but it was going to lose and it was going to lose bitterly, man. Okay, the destruction that's going to come upon this place is going to be one of the most, that's going to be, that's going to be the destruction, man. That was going to be the deliverance. Okay, that was going to be the story to tell, man. Okay, Habakkuk 2 and, uh, two and uh, uh, 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and it shall not, uh, and it shall not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come, it will not tarry. The holy soul which is in him is lifted up and is not upright. But the just shall live by faith. So us, the the, the, the just, we was gonna live by faith. Now let's do some uh, 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 some um, some uh, sp uh, some scriptural mapping, right? We read within the book of um, uh, Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, round about the ninth verse, the faith and the patience of the saints. Here it says, the, the just shall live by his faith. What's the faith and the patience of the saints? We're looking towards what? We're looking towards what it says within the within the within the within the, within the upper parts of that scripture where the scripture says that what he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So the just was going to live by the remembrance that what the heavenly father's son was going to come, okay, and he was going power was going to be given unto him to take power from Esau, okay, to take the crowns of the nations upon the earth and to give it unto his men. That's why the scripture says that what your house was going to come having many crowns and he was going to give that to what his joint heirs in the Israelites, okay. Continuing, it says, uh, Behold, his soul which is in him is lifted up, but just shall live by faith. Also, yeah, he transgresses by, by wine. What's a transgression? A lie is a transgression, okay? Or the enslavement of the Israelites was a transgression against the Heavenly Father, right? And it says that what? Yea, also he transgressed with wine because he, he did that through his philosophy. My wine and philosophy are the same thing, right? They're interchangeable. Also, true wine and religion are interchangeable. Also, true wine, women, and religion are all interchangeable uh, 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 within the scriptures. So, when we're reading here about wine, it's talking about the philosophy or the or the, or the, or the, um, or the policy. The scripture talks about how this man was going to try to take down people through his policy. Okay, because he comes out there, he says, "Look, I'm going to set up a government," and he goes out there and strip the city of all the natural resources off of there. That's 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 the nature of this man. Lies, which is his transgression, and he was going to transgress by wine, which is the philosophy that he comes about with. For through that, he said he was manifesting destiny, right? He was manifesting destiny to do what? Right? Because that was the, the wine that was spewing out of his mouth, but he was actually transgressing. But he was also really manifesting the Heavenly Father's will. That's what you don't understand. You see, they think that they came into power by their own power. But the scripture says that the Heavenly Father bestowed power unto them to do what they did and to put the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans into captivity. And now, 
now the power is going to be taken away. Right? Yea, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, he is the keeper of the home, who enlarges his desires as hell and it is as death and cannot be satisfied. And that's the point I wanted. This man is never satisfied, man. Right? No matter what, no matter how much he abounds his kingdom, he's never satisfied. They took down Iran, they weren't satisfied. They took down Iraq, of which I think Iraq came before, no sorry, they didn't take down Iran, so lucky. They took down um, Iraq, okay? They wasn't satisfied. Who did they take down? I forget the other ones. They took down the Syrians. They weren't satisfied. Not the Syrians. You know, my, my words are being uh, mixed up. They took down the Iranians. They took down... Um, was Gaddafi and and then and then boys what what what, what country was that that you know, it escapes me right now okay they're trying to take down the uh, Iranians they're trying to take down the Syrians they cannot be satisfied man they just gotta go out there and just keep on conquering and conquering and they have more than a heart could wish for man look at them countries look how the people are living out there man they're living dirt poor and Esau still wants it man he can never be satisfied okay who enlarges his desires as hell and can never be satisfied and he uh, and, and but gathereth unto himself all nations, right? And uh, heapeth unto himself all people. That's the nature of this man. He wants, wants and takes, man. And because he's got the blessing of the sword, that's what they use to take down nations. The blessing of the sword, which is the ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay, the, 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 all the different variations of that of that sword that they have to this unto this day. Right, going back onto the book of Job, the 20th chapter. Right, going back onto the book of Job, the 20th chapter. It says, um... Knowest thou know this of all since man was placed upon the earth that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of a hypocrite but for a moment. So it's just a moment, man. Okay, it's just this this rulership that they had in comparison to how they rule the, the Israelites was gonna rule, which we know the scriptures say that the Israelites was gonna rule forever. Okay? It's but for a moment. Okay, that's what the scripture says the affliction that we was gonna suffer underneath Esau was but for a moment. Because we was gonna rule for an eternity, man. Do you know how long forever is? Okay? You know how long is forever? It's, that's like saying how long is the the, the, the how long is how, how long is a piece? Of, how long is how long is forever? <laughs> I can't find no analogy for it, and that's the rulership that the the Israelites was gonna get. Okay, that was the rulership that the Israelites was gonna get. Job twenty and five it says that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency might up into the heavens, so they sent their spaceships out there. Okay, they so called went to the moon, of which they didn't do that. But they certainly put their nest amongst the stars as a as, as, uh, parallel within the book of Obadiah. Okay, they set their so-called missiles out there within the skies. Alright. Yeah, he shall perish forever like his own dung. And they which shall see him shall say, where is he? Where is Esau? Because he was going to be disappeared, man. Okay. Let's go and uh, go into the book of Obadiah. And now finishing the book of Job. 20th chapter in a second. So the book of Obadiah. And this is, uh, I'll go straight to the point. Uh, Obadiah 11 it says in that day shall I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen because King David had a righteous rulership so when the Most High is talking about raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen he's talking about raising up the righteous rulership that we had underneath King David man okay which 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 when you apply the second covenant to that the, the, the kingdom of uh, the tabernacle of David okay the, the covenant wherewith the second covenant wherewith you're gonna see to it that the Israelites are gonna have what they're gonna have the Lord's such commandments to the Heavenly Father impregnated within their mind you got a situation that's going to be very beautiful. Okay, you got a situation where the Israelites is going to rule for perpetuity. Now we know that the Israelites rule for a certain amount of time in righteousness, but you apply the second covenant to that, they're going to rule forever. Because what's going to be taking them down? They ain't going to go off. Okay, so they're going to rule forever, man. Okay, and King David was, uh, uh, King David, uh, 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 he was taking down all of them uh, Edomite nations, man. Right, they had a, the, 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 bow, uh, 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 the Valley of Salt, if I'm not mistaken, right, and, and, and Joab basically was committing um, what this world would call genocide, man, but it was in righteousness, and that was a, uh, that was a foreshadowing of what was going to happen when the Heavenly Father Son was going to return and establish the tabernacle of David in that what? We was going to be wiping off the Edomite from the face of the earth, man. See, the Messiah is with genocide. He's with the genocide of the Red Hebrew Edomites. I might call that the title of this video, right? It says, um, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, right? And I build it as in the days of old, Salakia, and that they may possess the remnant of Edom and, and all of the heathen which are called round about. Behold, in that day, saith the Lord, the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes to him that soweth, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, right? Now bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities. Am I reading the right thing? Oh no, that's Amos. <laughs> But hey, that's how the spirit wanted. 
Okay, let me just finish Amos and I'll jump to Obadiah. All right, um, and I'll bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities, and they shall inhabit in them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof, and they shall also make gardens and, and eat the fruit thereof. That's the kingdom of heaven. But guess what? It said about the, the kingdom of heaven that they may possess Edom and the land of Edom and you know, the, 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 the plowman overtaking the repo. That's all about the changing of, 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 of power, man. If it is you had a boss, you had a manager, now you, the boss and the manager are what? They're your slaves, man. That's what the scripture talks about. That the, 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 the what? The the, 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 uh, uh, um, the um the servant was become the, the, gonna become the master, and the master was gonna become the servant. That's within the book of Isaiah, the fourteenth chapter. Let's jump across to um uh, Obadiah. Go straight to the point. It says, "And the house of Jacob, Obadiah, eighteen. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph shall be a flame, and the house of Esau shall be for stubble, and they shall kingdom in them, and they shall devour them, and they shall not be any of the house of Esau remaining, for the Lord hath spoken it. Not one Edomite, not one of the house of Esau." Not one, okay. Back within the book of Job, uh, the twenty-eighth chapter, and then um, I mean, I mean, we could read all of it, but I, I mean, I'll just pick some points out of it. You know, points made. You know, okay. Uh, Obadiah, uh, one and eight. It says he shall fly away. As, he shall fly away as a dream, right? He shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as the vision of the night. That also we shall see him. Shall see him no more, right? Neither shall his place behold him anymore. And that's pretty much it, man. So hopefully today's session was of edification. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know, Brachta Yahab Hashem Yahashai Hashem Kadash. Right, double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone. You brothers keep watch. You know, there's Brexit out here. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, what else? We got, you know, so many countries out there. I believe there's one particular country that was um, uh, one of the Arab leaders out there. They was pushing. There was he was, he was, he was he, he's for the chip, and you know he's juiced in. And that's how these Arabs make their money for the um, OPEC nations.